previously on Minecraft Hardcore. So, construction has begun. Hello. And that's okay. Alright, so there's the outside. Now it looks a little better without all the dirt. We still need a door, as well as grab our glass, make some panes out of it. Holy shit, that's a lot of panes. Whoops. Oh well. And we'll start adding in the windows. Alright, folks. We have it. The beginning starter base is complete. Um, you know what? I might add windows here. Much better. Now, as I was saying, um, we're going to keep building this up. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore episode number four. Now, we are on day number nine. We're doing great. In the previous episode, we built up our base and now... That we have that complete, it is time to set up some farms. Um, so right off the bat, I noticed that we need some more room. Um, <laughs> the tower has already taken up a ton of space. So we're going to go ahead and before we set up farms, I think we're going to set them up over here uh, by these trees. So we're already going to expand. And um, we should have just done that right off the bat anyways and claim more land. But I just wanted to get myself walled in and safe. Um, so we're going to, in this episode, we're going to expand and we're going to build um, the start, the beginning of some basic farms. So let's get started. First things first, we need to clean up my inventory a little bit. Um, we don't need all this extra goodness at all. We're going to, don't worry about this. This is disgusting, but we are going to fix that in the future. Um, we're going to have this nice storage system and it will look a lot nicer now we just need to mine we need some more cobblestone um i think we're gonna expand this way we never finished this wall it's kind of been a running joke in the past few episodes but uh we're gonna actually finish that and life will be good not finish that we're actually gonna tear that down is what i meant to say okay we need to fix this also this is much easier to fix than this other stupid area that i screwed up uh, we'll make that wood. Hold on. Now we're bashing our head a little bit. Nothing can ever be perfect, but that's okay. You know what? We don't need this. We don't need this here. We can access that window from this block. That's fine. There we go. Much smoother. All right. Well, we're going to mine some cobblestone so we can expand the wall. Ooh. E. Just gotta be careful, man. You never know. Never know what could happen. A little scary. Uh, I heard it. I heard the lava, so I was I was already crouching and I wasn't moving forward. I don't move forward anyways. But uh, close one. Oh, there it is again. All right, that was a pretty good haul from the mines. We got quite a bit of cobblestone, some other stuff. We got some redstone, some iron. So while we're doing other things, we're going to cook this iron really quick. Um, put this glass away. We don't need it right now. Uh, and so before we get to the wall, I do want... <laughs> I forgot in the last episode to build a ladder up to the second floor of my base. So we're going to do that right now. Ouch, that hurt. All right, and so we've got ourselves a really ugly ladder system now um yeah it it's not looking too great but you know what it's not supposed to look super pretty it's just supposed to serve a purpose and it's serving its purpose so we can watch beautiful sunrises now would you look at that perfect timing and we can watch as mobs burn to death with the rising sun from the comfort and safety of our base don't you just don't you just love a good sunrise, Mr. Skeleton? Just look how beautiful it is. Can we just take a take a moment and appreciate the beautiful sunrise coming through the air on this fine day number 10? All right, so now that the ladder system is done, uh we're going to expand our walls. Yeah, let's just knock that annoying part down and then we'll just expand out this way. Um we're going to get rid of these trees and Make as much uh, this hill as well, and make as much space as possible. Um, the trees will come back, don't worry. 
As in, we're going to have a tree farm for sure. We're going to need one. So I remember I saw a creeper lurking about somewhere from the comfort of my home. And now that I'm outside, I need to make sure that he's not lurking around. I think he was... I was looking out to the sunrise. Oh, the sun rose that way. He was over here. He's somewhere over there. I don't know where he went, but we need to be careful. Because, yeah... If he saw me leave, he could be sneaking around somewhere. Let's try to find him so we can at least get eyes on him. He might have despawned as well. So let's hope for that. But um yeah, let's continue. Seem to be okay. As long as I don't see him. Um that hurts, but we just gotta break these saplings as well. Everything needs to go out of the way for the expansion. Alright, trees are cleared. Let's get working on this hilly area gonna take a little bit and probably a few shovels worth of digging well squid has just breached himself and dropped his ink sacks also it's getting dark um, the terraforming is taking forever as it usually does we're trying to knock out this hill um, but it's taking the whole day and since we are now openly breachable we are going to retreat to the safety of my house put a bed down and Call it a night. Actually, no, we're not gonna place it down here. We're gonna sleep in style tonight. Under the stars, right here. All right, good morning. We are now on day 11 of Minecraft hardcore mode and seems like not much is going on outside at the moment. I'm taking a, a look around. Lots of sheep, I don't see a creeper anywhere. Um, but we will need to be careful because our base is not secure at the moment just because of what we're doing. So we're going to take another look out here from the top of this hill and make sure that we are truly okay. Get out my sword just in case and we'll head up here. Uh, is that? That's a cactus. That's definitely a cactus back there. Um, yeah, we seem to be okay as far as I can tell. Seemed like a quiet night here at the hide at the hideout. Look at that floating sand block. Maybe that's just at the edge of being rendered, or is it actually just floating? That's interesting. All right, so we should be able to take down this, the rest of this hill by the end of the day, and we'll be good. All right, that hill is finally taken down, and the next thing we're gonna do is fill in this area a little bit, keep it nice and flat, nice and even, and then we will build the walls out. We filled that in a little bit with dirt, and next thing is to get the wall set, and then we will start making some just tiny little farms at first. Alright, and we are fully lit up, so let's start making the farms. We're going to dig out some holes, and we're going to plant some seeds, put some water down, and everything will be good. We've got a pretty messy inventory. I don't know why I'm still holding the redstone and the other stuff I was mining. Let's clean that up a little bit before we get started. I'm sorry, Mr. Horse. I don't have a saddle for you, and I don't want you trampling my crops. You've been a good companion in this, uh, inside my base, but I'm ready to go. Alright, so this is good for wheat. We're, we're not going to be super satisfyingly spaced out, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but the most important thing is we get it started. So let's find our wheat seeds. Zombie's trying to get in with his enchanted armor. Not going to happen, buddy. Sorry. Got 12 wheat seeds so far. We can always get... We're going to have to go uh, steal some crops from the village, but that's okay. And we'll be good to go. Looks like I accidentally trampled part of the farm. An idiot. And we got an achievement. All right. All right, so those will grow. And then... Another thing we need to do at some point is get that sugar cane over there and start just start loading up the edge of this river along the western side of my base just because we're going to need all the sugar cane we can get for our enchantments. Alright, it's not the prettiest thing in the world and I screwed up over there, so I'm sorry for if you have to look at that, but um, it will be for carrots or something else. Um, or whatever and then we'll save we don't have any yet but we'll save this side for um, pumpkin seeds and melon seeds and all those other things 
And we'll leave it there for now for farms. The next thing we're going to want to do after that is sleep. So we can put sugarcane along that river like we wanted to. So we will sleep under the stars. Good morning and welcome to day 12 of Hardcore. We've got creepers over there um, by where we need to go. So it's a good thing we checked that out. Uh, things are still burning. Let's make sure... Aha, Mr. Enderman has teleported into the base and is messing things up. And that's just lovely. Look at him go, messing everything up. Yep, have a blast, buddy. All right, jerk, let's go. Careful not to look at him and let's go fix what he screwed up because that will bother me to no end. Thank you, kind sir. Got a zombie dying right there. A little bit more action on day 12. All right, let's head out. And, excuse me, kind sir, with your enchanted legs. Where do those creepers go? I know... I know I saw them. Where did they go? Did they just disappear? That's strange. Um, alright, let's organize this so we have a spot for sugarcane. Alright, I'm a little worried though. I don't know where they went. Maybe they despawned. You never know. Um, yeah, this is a good enough place to start. So we can just break them right here instead of breaking the whole thing. And let's line this up. Carefully cross the river. I'm not sure where those creepers went. But uh, for the sake of um, niceness, we're going to keep the sugarcane farm rolling on the other side of the river, just so it's safe. And we'll make sure to never touch it at night, because we will not be leaving the base much at night this early on. Let's grab the rest of these. And good, good, good. Let's line these up. And that's a good start for sugarcane. Um, not too worried about it. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So yeah, we'll just continue to keep an eye on that and line the river completely. And then we'll have more than enough paper for books and bookshelves and enchanting. Next thing I'm going to do is raid the village for some good old-fashioned crops. Probably carrots. I think there was carrots. We're gonna kill some of these chickens. But also, we're gonna save two of them because the next thing after the crop raid is going to be, oh, look at that, I made one. It's gonna be a chicken enclosure because that's where what's nearby. Yeah, okay, so got a couple chickens. Perfect for breeding. In fact, we're just gonna make um, lots of animal enclosures. So we got, uh, is this, these are beets, right? Uh, I don't really need those. I'd rather have carrots. Carrots feel more useful to me. They're a better food source. I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, what are these? Oh, potatoes. No, don't need those. Or maybe I do. Is there... You know what? I should I should see this. Is there an achievement for... Um, husbandry. Yeah, it's probably here. Is there an achievement for... Uh, farming every crop or something? Wow, there's a lot that I have to do. Um, adventure, Minecraft. I don't know. I don't know if there is. Breed two animals. Breed all the animals? Wow, that's going to be so hard. Man, we are in for a long run. I'll tell you that. So I don't know if that's an achievement. Let's search for carrots. I think it might be on the hilltop farm. Aha, I found carrots. Yep, it was on the hilltop, so we'll... Um, Take those away. Sorry, Mr. Villager. Taking all of them and not replanting them. Ouch. Um, but what we're going to need is some more seeds to have wheat and seeds to successfully close some of these animals out here. First things first, plant the carrots, grab the cobblestone walls, grab the fence gate. Eat some mutton, and we're going to keep this a little bit farther away just because animal sounds are so annoying, and if I put them close, we're going to be listening to it all the time, and nobody wants that. We don't need to make it, like, super secure and safe like my base because we're not going to be farming animals in the middle of the night. Only purpose is going to be to keep the animals in. Perfect. That's a little small starting out, but... Um, we can always expand it if we need to. Uh, again, we don't need to worry too much about food. Um, but we are in a plains biome, so if we ever run out, we can just run around for a second. 
but I think we're gonna be fine. So let's get these chickens in here. All right, line it up, everybody in. Close that off, and we popped an egg out. So why aren't I seeing the hearts at all? Is that did I turn that off in the settings? Ah, huh. so this particles minimal, but I mean. I still should be seeing some hearts. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It still works, so that's fine. I also dropped an egg. Good luck. Oh, nothing. All right. Uh, all right, sheep. Let's grab those. And sheep are like the most annoying animal to farm. This is exactly why we are keeping it far away. We don't have to listen to it all day. We need to make sure that these chickens don't escape. All right, get yourselves in there. No, no, no. He tried. He made a run for it. We will not let him. We got another egg. Good luck. Nope. So I just realized I hope that it's not too far away to despawn. I don't think it does, right? If you have them in clothes, they don't despawn. I think that's that's correct, right? Or is that on bedrock? I'm on Java. Um. Well, I guess we'll find out. If not, like I said, I've been saying this whole time, it's not that big of a deal point is I just don't want to listen to them which is why they're far away let's see if we can see them from the top of our tower uh we can't see the chickens but we can see the sheep the sun's going down not really too bothersome all right next thing we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna organize our chests so I think we can put some up here well it wouldn't look very good against a window so never mind um we can put more useful stuff down here over here and over there and then put less useful stuff in storage up on the next level. Uh, next level being the next part of the tower we build, which is the next thing I want to do really quick while we're here next to the desert. And then after that, we're going to be all set and ready. And we're just going to gather a bunch of materials to get to the Ender Dragon fight. I'm excited. But for now, actually, before I decide what's important and what's not, we're going to cook this chicken. We're just going to dump everything we don't need right now. Um, pretty much all this stuff. Uh, we'll keep torches just in case. It's always nice to have. Uh, we'll keep iron because we'll need to get tools. We'll keep wood. We'll keep sticks. Uh, that's good. Don't need those. All right. So we're going to go collect some of the materials that we need for the next part of our fun little tower. So with that, I headed out to the desert, thinking of ways to make my base look amazing and add to the growing part of our tower. And with that, this will conclude episode 4. Next time, we will expand the tower and then start thinking about the Ender Dragon fight. If you're enjoying Hardcore Minecraft, please remember to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Check out the other videos in the series if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.